LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're back and we're going to show you how to insert your key onto your keyboard. First, we're going to click the hinges together to make one. Then we're going to click that onto the keyboard and finally the keycap on top. So you can see on your keyboard uh, there's a single large hook at the top here and two smaller hooks at the bottom corner. So those are going to grab onto the hinges which are these and they're also going to determine the position for the hinges so let's get the large piece first and you can see this has two small pins at the top corners and two larger ones at the bottom corners now I say large and bottom because we're putting the small pins wherever the large hook is if the uh, large hook were to be at the bottom then you turn it around like that so the large hook is at the top in this case, so we're going to leave it this way. Then make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that because it looks the same, but the mechanism won't work. Um, you can see that we ha you have to feel underneath the vertical bar here, uh, or just really look at it carefully, because there's an extra bump there, and that faces and touches the keyboard. If it's one smooth piece from top to bottom, that faces away from the keyboard. Now. Uh, leave that piece in the right position for now and get the next piece which is this this has two pins at the bottom corners and two pins in the middle those pins in the middle are going to go into the holes that are in the middle of the large piece there so then the large bar is that's at the top here is going to go underneath the large hook then make sure not to put the entire piece upside down by feeling the bottom bar here. If you feel it's one smooth piece from side to side, that faces away from the keyboard. If you feel it has a gap or a thinning area in the middle, that faces and touches the keyboard. So now you know the position for both pieces. We have to put the small piece over the large one and then insert the top bar of the small piece underneath the top bar of the large piece. So go ahead and do that. Then you hold it in place there. Now we're going to insert the left pin that's in the small piece, or the right one I should say, uh, into the hole that's in the middle of the uh, large piece. So you have to kind of stretch the large piece away from the small piece in order for the pin to actually go in there and once you have that side in we're going to take care of the other side so you want to hold the top and the pin that we've already inserted uh, onto the large hinge so same thing you want to separate both pieces in order for that pin to go into that hole there you go now both pieces are one you want to insert the small or the top bar of the small hinge underneath the large hook just like that you hold that in place and we're going to stretch the hinges downward enough for the uh, metal hooks that are on the keyboard to wrap around the pins that are on the corners down here so there you go everything is underneath the metal hooks you put your keycap right in the center which is this and you just push down evenly on all four sides and that's it for the regular size key now we're going over the uh, large key 
and we're going to use a an enter key for that. Um, the hinges, uh, you put those on the same way as the uh, regular size hinges. It, it's the same, only on a larger scale. So um, we're going to. One thing that does change actually is the keycap because it has this metal wire that has to click in the back. So look for the right position for the enter key, which is this, if, you know, because you, you can read the enter. Then we're going to flip it over this way. Don't flip it over this way because it'll create confusion. Flip it over like that so you can see the uh, fittings behind the keycap. Now, those fittings um, to the very, very bottom are the ones that are going to gra grab onto this metal wire. You can see that there's uh, pins here and then there's some uh, fittings that are at the very, you know, very close to those other fittings here, but they're highly, they're slightly higher. So you want to click this wire to the fittings that are at the very, very bottom of the keycap. Just like that, it clicks on. Then you want to open up the wire like this and put your keycap in the right position, but flip it over downward because you need to look at the wire and you're going to insert the wire into this metal loop here and there to the very left and right. So go ahead and insert that wire right through those loops. Once that's in, you just lay down your keycap and click it onto the hinges. So now we're going to go on to the space bar and we're going to assume you already have the hinges in because it's the same procedure. So uh, determine the position for the space bar first and you can see that at the top it's cut square and at the bottom it has an angle to it. So though there's two wires on this um, on this key. You can see that there's one at the top and one at the bottom. Now the one at the bottom is larger than the one at the top. So yeah, just click the wires onto the very bottom the large one onto the fittings there at the very bottom and the smaller one onto the fittings there at the very top. Then you open up your wire like that, flip your keycap over this way, so in order to have it in the right position. But then you flip it over again so you can see the wire. You just want to put those wires onto the fittings and then uh, push down on the keycap in all areas in order for that uh, the keycap to click onto the hinges. This is going to take you a few uh, seconds to get, but uh, that's basically it. So thanks. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.